Intraarticular pathology usually consists of a patchless rotator interval, a normal labrum, and articulating surfaces as MDI is a capsular pathology. Chronically, there can be some labral damage as you can see posteriorly in this case. The drive through sign is also markedly positive. Viewing from an anterior superior portal and working through both the anterior injury and the attenuated capsular tissue. This promotes soft tissue scarring and healing. Primary direction of instability, which is inferior, a common finding in all symptomatic multidirectional instability cases. A pinch tuck technique, as described by Snyder, is utilized. The tissue is pierced approximately 10 millimeters from the labral edge, capturing and exiting the inferior pouch, followed by a passage of the suture hook through Shuttling the end device to retrograde a non-absorbable high-strength suture through the labrum in a horizontal mattress configuration. Here we demonstrate the reinforced inferior labrum buttress, which is stable to manual stress. Anterior instability, which was the next most prominent finding on the examination under anesthesia, is addressed with the same features technique. features are placed as both anteriorly and posteriorly to balance the capsule. Absorbable sutures can be utilized at this juncture with an effort to decrease the drive-through sign by at least 50 to 75%. Interval closure is recommended. The corcohumeral ligament, as part of the leading edge of the supraspinatus, should be captured with the closure. Using the PDS suture, a permanent suture can be shuttled through the rotator interval and the interval shortened, providing additional stability.